Hi everyone, welcome to a new Q&A session. Today I have a question from James who runs a gym in Newcastle. How much does a bad review cost your local business? Now this is a very interesting question and before I start delving into the answer, I'd like to highlight the fact that a big portion of local business owners overlook the importance of reviews. If you do a quick search right now in Google and start looking at random local businesses in your area, you'll see that a big chunk of them have very few reviews or even worse, all ones. This is quite extraordinary since almost 90% of online customers read online reviews these days to assess if a small or local business is a good one. Reviews are critical for local businesses in many ways as they will help you with your search engine rankings, whether or not people will click on your site, and it will certainly help customers make the decision to either purchase your product or book your service. So based on that, can we measure the cost of a negative or bad review to your local business? Well, I've done my own research, and according to a study conducted by a company called GoFish Digital, you can lose up to 22% of customers with one single negative review. Obviously, the number would go up if you have more than one. I guess this helps put a number on the cost if you really want to, but I disagree slightly with this finding. Although I don't dispute the number itself, I think that having a bad review is not necessarily costly and can have many benefits. Firstly, having five stars out of five looks slightly suspicious if you ask me, but also as far as Google is concerned. Having a profile with a few not so great reviews looks a lot more natural and a lot more trustworthy. It is very difficult to satisfy everyone and users will take this into consideration. Secondly, if you receive a negative or bad review, you have the opportunity to shine. Answer it, post it online, make sure it addresses the problem and that it is personalized, not some copy and paste standard answer you dig out every time a customer complains. This will show everyone who reads it that you care about your customers and you are willing to go the extra mile. All your potential customers will see this. By doing all of this, you are essentially turning a negative into a positive. Will that cost your business money? I don't think so. If anything, it might even make you some in the long run, as long as you are being very attentive. One thing you'll have to take into account is that if you don't have many reviews to start with and one or two of them are not great, it will bring your average rating down, which is not good for anyone as it will be displayed on Google. The bottom line is always the same, provide an outstanding service and people will post positive reviews. Simple, basic concept. If you are serious about your business, you must have a review strategy in place as it will pay some huge dividend. Check out my tutorial on how to get online reviews, which explains in details the best way of collecting online reviews. I hope you found this useful and thanks for visiting rankingacademy.co.uk. Post your question.